In the video today, we're answering a viewer question because Mark Yu asks us, why doesn't sugar ever seem to go bad? Two foods are left out on the counter, fresh tomatoes and a bowl of sugar. Within a week or so, one will develop black spots and the other remains pristine, albeit a little clumpy depending on the humidity in the air. The reason? Well, basically, it's the same as with salt osmosis. While microorganisms love sugar, they also need a certain amount of water to thrive. This level of freely available water, called water activity, AW for bacteria is about 0.91, for molds it's about 0.8, and for fungi or yeasts it must be at least 0.6. The AW of fresh food is generally about 0.99, while crystalline sucrose, table sugar, is a paltry 0.06. In its crystal form, bone dry, sucrose loves to bind with water. When present in sufficient concentrations, table sugar will suck all of the water around it. This is why sugar can be an excellent food preservative. By osmosis, the sugar pulls the available water from within the foodstuff, reducing the food's AW, thus making it unsuitable for microbes to grow or even survive. More specifically, at the outer edge of a cell, is a membrane, a semi-permeable barrier that allows some substances, including nutrients and wastes, to move in and out. With a higher concentration of sugar outside the cell, the solution is hypertonic, meaning it will draw water from the cell, causing the bacteria or whatever cell to shrivel and die. The reverse could potentially happen as well if the sugar concentration was higher inside the cell, hypotonic, with it drawing water in, perhaps to the point of bursting the cell. You can also observe this absorption effect simply by taking some cotton candy, which is made of pure spun sugar, and placing it in a humid environment. With just 33% relative humidity, cotton candy left out in the air will completely collapse and crystallize in just three days as it absorbs the moisture in the air. At 45% relative humidity, it will completely collapse in just one day. At 75% humidity, it takes just one hour. This is why it has only been since 1972 that non-made-on-demand cotton candy has been available. 1972 was when the first fully automated cotton candy machine was invented that could make the fluffy treat and quickly package it in watertight containers. Speaking of cotton candy, while it may seem like cotton candy, which is made of pure sugar, sometimes with food coloring or other flavoring added, would be pretty much the worst thing in the world for you to eat, it should be noted that it only takes about 30 grams of sugar to make a typical serving size of cotton candy, which is about 9 grams less than a 12-ounce can of Coke. Further, cotton candy has no fat, no preservatives, and is only about 115 calories per serving. While certainly not a health food nor filling in any way, there are many things that people eat every day that are much worse for them. Now for a bonus fact. If you're wondering how to salt meat for preservation, the process is fairly simple and straightforward, though there are many variations on the basic method used which will improve flavor. In general, you simply rinse the fresh meat in cold or lukewarm water, then pour a thin layer of salt, generally kosher salt, all over the meat and rub it in. Next, hang or set the meat out in a cool environment, under 60 degrees Fahrenheit, but not below freezing for a couple of weeks in order to dry it out a bit. Finally, before cooking the meat, rinse off the salt with water. In theory, if you use enough salt or sugar when doing this, you can even preserve meat for decades, though, of course, the amount you'd have to use would probably make it rather unpalatable. At the minimum, if you're only using salt or sugar with no other preservative method like smoking or the like, it's generally considered that about 20% salt concentration on the surface of the meat is needed to kill off most types of microbes and fungi that can spoil food quickly. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do give us a thumbs up below and don't forget to subscribe. We've got brand new videos just like this every day of the week. For more from me, why not check out my other channel called Highlight History that is linked to below. And as always, Thank you for watching.